Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this episode, I'm going to try and get around the island and show you as much as I can along the way. It's not going to be fun, I'll probably end up cutting a lot of it, but what I'm going to do is show you the key points along the way. So I'm finally leaving this area. Thank God I was getting over it. Now I'm just stopping off here to get one piece of rope. It's in this little boat here. It's kind of handy. Definitely not worth climbing down the cliff for it though. Now I'm in the yacht enclosure bay. I just picked up a photo through the boat. <laughs> oh, forest logic. Now I'm going to get the rope. But I'm full. I'm going to store it in my boat. I'm going to use ceiling lights to store the rope. It's a bit of a makeshift storage. It works. But we could always use more rope, that's for sure. Zip lines are expensive, and I build a lot of them. How about a check inside the boat for anything that's useful? The only reason to really come to the boat's for the rope and the tape player, I think. Yeah, there's air canisters in here, but there's so many in the game, you don't really need them. There's a lot of theories going around that this kid is the cowman in the story, but I think that assumption's just based on the fact that the kid looks overweight. But that's not a, a full indication, I don't think. I don't know. Each their own is just a theory. Now I'm going to sail around to the shore and pick up the shark heads. And store them in my boat. So I can use them later on. There's also a fair few suitcases here too. One. Two. I'm going to collect every shark head in the game. I might as well keep the seagull head. Why not? shit. They haven't even seen me. How good is stealth? They just ran right past me. I have to get that cassette tape that's on the grave. So I don't forget. Now I haven't done my trees so I've got to do them, eh? Won't be able to use these trees. Won't be able to fit them on the boat. Could make another boat, but it's only five trees and it's in an area I'm never going to come back to, so... Screw it. Screw it. I don't really need these trees. I deserve it. I think people get too caught up in wasting trees. I think if you need to cut them to get your strength up, just cut them down. Don't worry about losing the logs. I mean, the game's called The Forest. There's enough trees in this game. Probably will piss the cannibals off more, but... Ah. I want them to come. 69 leaves. It's a good effort. Wonder if the cannibals heard me cutting down those trees. Wonder if I've got any room left on this boat. Oh, there's some there. Can I sleep yet? Not yet. So I might as well make the most of it and get some more logs while I'm here. Honestly thought the boat was filled, but it's just the way you place them with the two over two method. You sometimes miss log holders that haven't been filled. Ah oh, crap, I made myself cold. It's not something I want. Better eat. I have a feeling I have to redo my strength video because I've made some discoveries that are pretty important. Apparently it's between 75 and 50 is when you want to eat. If you go below 50, that's when it starts to go red. You actually start incurring under eating points, but it doesn't state how many. I would take a guess that as soon as you reach it, it might give you 0.5. I 
of an under-eating point. And that's what leads to strength drops. It's going to light my weapon on fire. That'll hit me up enough. Don't want to go to bed cold. And I really hope the freaking cannibals don't come here. Crap, I'm getting low on water. Hasn't rained in a few days. Okay, it looks like the cannibals aren't here. Might as well grab some more logs since I thought I was filled up. I'm going to turn my base into a shark head haven. What the hell? You're a bit far from home, mate. <laughs> oh, he must have got caught around the rocks. He's like, oh, bruh, I can't find my way back. Oh, dude. Like that stoner turtle off Finding Nemo. That's such a cliche. It's kind of like Otto from um, The Simpsons. You know, deep down, we always knew he was a stoner and they finally revealed it in The Simpsons movie. Oh, God, I'm getting old. Talking about The Simpsons movie. Might be easier to get it inside from the boat. There we go. Oh no, I'm out. Ma. That's a good thing. Do I want the gun piece? Yes, I do. Oh, I totally forgot about the booze around here. I'm going to turn my ocean quality down to flat. It's not cheating. Just so I can see a bit better. Well, I thought I would see better, but... This is a uh, actual cannibal patrol route. They do come through here, but it's very rare. It's like at the bottom of their list. The boss must say to them, Oh, come on, boys. You better go, buddy. Patrol that beach there. I think they come through here like once every 10 days. Unless you're building here, of course. That's a different story. Okay, I got a lot of booze. Better start using it. Okay. Might go and upgrade this. Where do I want them? Put them on the hilt. Yeah, I've actually, um, I've stopped using uh, teeth upgrades for my weapons. I found that feathers are good if you're making a transition from the katana to the modern axe. It's generous as in you won't attack too slow. It makes it easier to adapt because if you go from, say, you're a, a katana user and you jump on the modern axe and throw glass upgrades on it, you are going to suffer big time because you won't be used to how slow it actually swings. Now I'm glad I actually did that underwater video because I learned how much booze is under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea, there I am, something else lyrics, I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, I don't want to lose you so get up on the shore, on the shore, double check. Check my left, check my right. Uh, going good for sap still. I might put this on the edge of the blade. I'll put seven on this side. And then when I get another seven, I'll put it on the other side. And I think that will make it look pretty cool. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Okay, it's my other two. There was more booze around... Here, from memory, that's a soda. There's so many elements to this game that you just forget. I, I don't claim to be the best at the forest, but... I know I'm pretty good. But you do forget things along the way. No one's perfect. It's like in this game, I usually set up rabbit traps at the start. But because I'm doing a Let's Play, I'm recording as I'm going, and when you're recording, you've got to remember to actually speak. <laughs> And you got to remember the, the the good parts of your style, the way you play. Uh, I think I've cleaned out all the booze. Oh, the cannibals aren't here. Got seven booze. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna put it on the other side now. Oh wait, which side did I put it on? 
Oh, it's come through, so it's this side I've got to put it on. Now, the angle you place it at actually determines uh, which way the glass will face, so hopefully it looks all right. Silly seagull. Yep, I'm already starting to feel how slow this axe is swinging now. The damage better be worth it. Yeah, if you ever need feathers, come to the beach, eh? Seagulls drop the most feathers out of all the birds. Oh, not including the, the duck. Or well, the swan it's supposed to be called, but I think it's a bloody duck. But I'm from Australia, we have the weirdest freaking animals in the world. I mean, the platypus, man. God. I swear that's an alien of a creature. If you ever see one, like, read up about platypuses. I know this is not forest related, but read up about them. They are one of the most bizarre creatures on this planet. <laughs> they're a mammal, so they're warm-blooded. They swim. They've got a duck bill. They look like a bloody cat. that has got fins. And they've got poisonous spikes in them. Poisonous spikes in a mammal. I think out of every mammal, I think they're the only one that has poisonous spikes on them. Poison glands, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on animals. I don't even know what that kind of career is. My thoughts on building up here are mixed. Because it is a cool spot because it's nice and, um, you know, empty. It gives you room to breathe and that sort of stuff. And they can only attack from one direction. But um, there's no resources up here. Sticks are a mile away. Logs are a mile away. If you're going to build a rock base, uh, a base primarily made out of rocks, I think you're going to have an alright time, but it will be boring. Oh, look. Been having problems with the game of recent textures missing. When I started playing, it was ages ago, about a year and a half ago, there was actually a ramp up here. And I built up here and I blocked off there. And I was just, you know doing my thing, building along, and then all of a sudden this Virginia starts popping its head up here. If you block away, they'll find another. Jesus Christ! I left my dynamite on the freaking boat. I got no wristwatches! Oh, God! Oh. That's frustrating, man. That really sucks. I need to get out of here. I've been here too long. Why are those suitcases closed? Shit. I think I've been having issues with the game ever since I removed the mods to do the Let's Play. I think I should have verified the game's cache twice. Because having issues. I'm getting out of here. I have a feeling they're starting to catch on. Oh, so what I don't like about the houseboat is that your view's blocked from the left. So you just have to kind of plan, I guess, as best as possible anyway. Why is it so bright and foggy? I don't remember the game being like this. I wonder what setting's causing it. I'm going to try a light scatter. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't seem to fix it. Let's have a look at what else might be doing it. Uh, sun sunshine occlusion. Yeah, that seems to affect a little bit. What's with the textures? Been having issues with draw distance, things disappearing. It's annoying. I have a feeling there's booze along here, but I can't quite remember. No, there's none down this end. There's nothing down here, there's just rocks. I've actually built a little cave in here once before. I put uh, rock walls up along the sides and made a little cave hut thing. Pretty pointless because it's down the end of the map. Generally, when I'm playing, I actually start to demolish structures from an area I'm no longer going to be using. Because the more you have in the game, the longer it takes to load. And you don't really want it taking longer than it needs to. Especially if you're not going to use it, you might as well destroy it. It's the issue I used to have with rock paths. I used to actually um, avoid building them because you couldn't demolish them. I 
I just found a wristwatch. And I'm right next to the thing, but then again, I'm back at the boat anyway. I don't think you can climb up here anymore. Ah, oh, the textures thing is getting on my nerves, man. Why has it started doing this? I think I need to clean my video card out, maybe that's what it is. I can't believe I jumped up there and bloody forgot my dynamite. I had a wristwatch and go, oh yeah, I can make a bomb. Then I realized I use all my booze. Oh. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Am I the victim of my own sympathy? That makes no sense. Just like Trump and Mike Pence. This seems to be a travesty. Get out of here, it's going to blow, man. Imagine if all the boulders hit your boat and it sunk it. Oh, another wristwatch. I love it when I get wristwatches out of the caches. It's so good. But now I've used up all my booze, I can't bloody do anything. Uh... Yeah, I definitely need to remake the strength video, I think, because the way I've learned how to play, I actually don't use, I don't use berries in that anymore. Oh, that's risky, man. Too risky. Yeah, John, can you bring the boat around, mate? Need to get the boat so we can uh, start heading out for this journey. Oh, is that booze? It is too. There's two. That's definitely worth going for. I just can't believe how much I'm obsessed with booze. It's like I'm an alcoholic. But then again, like. Before I found out all the uses for booze and glass and that sort of stuff, I was just kind of like, eh. But now it's just like, oh, god tier. There's five bottles set. Wow. There's a feather. Got him. I don't really like getting them in the air. You miss out on so many feathers. Oh, I've got enough seagull heads. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. I wonder if they're ever going to fix the repair hammer. It seems a bit too much of a, you know, takes advantage of the game mechanics, I think. Okay, I'm going to make those bombs because I keep forgetting. Sometimes it's just easier to clear the inventory, just open it up and close it again. Some more shark heads. It doesn't matter what you put in the catapult. It can take 20 items. And you see the size of shark heads? You can put 20 of them in a catapult. I hope that doesn't affect the realism too much of the game. Ah, uh, yes. Another pot. Now, I did work out a method about how to store pots. You used to be able to store them in the catapult, but you can't anymore. Oh, that was close. How you do it is build a fire pit. But I wonder if I've got room. But what you need to do... Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Light it and put it on there and just leave it. Don't touch it. And it will go with you wherever you go. 
Um, I wouldn't use a small stick fire, the uh, basic fire, because it's too risky. Ah, uh, God, the stealth, man. This is it. This is how you play a calm game, is that you don't have... Is that you have a lot of stealth. What are they doing over there? What am I doing here? I need to cut down trees, man. Oh, I don't want to bring attention to myself. I'm kind of enjoying the peace and quiet. What do I do, everyone? Ah, oh, bugger it. I'm just going to cut down my trees, get it done. Oh, no, I forgot how much the modern axe has slowed down my glass upgrades. It slows down quite dramatically. How many trees do you think I need? Five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I'm also just... I need another houseboat. I might just do it here. And I'll just come back and pick it up. It's a little far to travel, but nowhere near as far as before. I can't believe how quick it gets dark, eh? It's like in a span of three minutes. But that's enough for one episode. Hopefully in the next one I'll get around the entire island. I need another houseboat so I can build this thing that I'm going to be building. You need two houseboats for it. It's really bizarre. But I think it will turn out pretty well. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.